Over the past few years, the United States has experienced a significant decline in its retail landscape, with hundreds of thousands of enterprises shutting down. Unfortunately, this trend is projected to continue, with a further 80,000 closures expected by 2026. As a result, numerous jobs have been lost, and the economic impact has been devastating. The demise of some of America's most prominent corporations has left the retail landscape desolate, with many stores unable to compete in the new business environment. One of the primary reasons for this decline is the impact of inflation and supply chain issues. These factors have made it difficult for many businesses to maintain their margins, forcing them to close their doors. Additionally, reduced consumer spending has played a role in this phenomenon, as many shoppers are opting to save their money instead of spending it on non-essential items. The rise of e-commerce has only added to these challenges, causing many brick-and-mortar stores to become obsolete. As a result of these challenges, many business owners have struggled to keep their sales and profits afloat, with some ultimately closing their doors for good. Even stores that once held a strong position in the market have not been immune to these challenges, leading to dozens if not hundreds of store closures across the country. Unfortunately, this trend is expected to continue in the coming years, with more closures likely to follow. In light of these developments, it is not surprising that some of the most recognizable retailers are struggling to stay in business. Many chains have lost touch with their customers, unable to adapt to the changing business landscape. As a result, some of the most prominent stores in the country are facing the prospect of closing their doors for good. First on the list is Kmart, which is currently down to only three open stores in the US due to the company's brutal process of almost complete liquidation. Sears and Kmart were both owned by Sears Holdings, which filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in 2018, narrowly avoiding liquidation. Kmart is a discount retailer chain that peaked at 2,400 stores in the early 1990s but failed to modernize its stores, losing much of its market share to larger competitors like Walmart and Target. Together, Sears and Kmart have closed more than 3,500 shops and eliminated roughly 250,000 jobs over the past 15 years after both brands were sold to their longtime investor and CEO Eddie Lampert. Next is Barnes & Noble, the renowned bookshop chain that failed following the epidemic and declared bankruptcy in March 2021. Despite being bought by the British company Elliott Advisors Limited, the company's revenue decreased by 50% over the last two years. 197 of its 600 remaining outlets were set for closure in December of last year, and it loses $10 million in sales annually, which is causing a cash flow problem. According to Scott Amex, Barnes & Noble will continue to lose money and will finally cease to exist if consumer trends don't change. AMC, despite having its share price soar as it became a meme stock in a historic gamma squeeze spearheaded by retail investors, is also facing challenges. Maintaining its 620 sites distributed throughout the country will become more challenging as streaming services become more popular. The company's financial situation has not improved enough to justify the size of its physical presence. Last year, the movie theater chain issued a warning that it might run out of money and would have to file for bankruptcy if it did not obtain liquidity. After that, AMC went on to raise $104 million by selling about 38 million of its 200 million shares, but it still has a cash shortage. In December, it announced plans to raise an additional $100 million. True Religion Apparel is one of several youth-focused retailers that may be beyond saving. It first filed for Chapter 11 in 2017 and reduced its total debt to roughly one-fourth of its pre-bankruptcy levels. In 2020, the company filed for bankruptcy a second time, and the pandemic led to the permanent closure of over 140 stores across the country, with over 140 stores closed permanently. The retail industry has been hit hard in recent years, with several legacy brands facing the possibility of going out of business. Sears, once a thriving department store chain, now only has 25 locations left, 
Down from tens of thousands in the early 2000s, the company has not been profitable since 2011, and same-store sales have decreased for 10 years straight. Analysts predict that the bankruptcy filing is merely postponing the ultimate demise of the Sears brand. The company's precarious condition is underscored by the fact that there may not be any Sears stores left in the nation by the middle of 2023. GNC, a chain of vitamin and health food stores, filed for bankruptcy in 2020 and announced it would liquidate 1,400 stores. The company was unable to complete its refinancing, and the unexpected change in the operating climate had a significant negative impact on the firm. While GNC stores have been struggling financially for years, insiders in the market claim that the internet has allowed a flood of competitors to, to enter the market and provide more and cheaper options. Office supply stores like Staples and Office Depot are also facing challenges. According to Jess Harrison, CEO of the Employee Justice League team, the challenge that office supply stores will encounter is that one does not need to see the item in person to acquire it. If you require a stapler, you already know what you require and can purchase it online. Businesses like Staples and Office Depot will shut down during the next few years because Office Depot stocks have been continuously decreasing since December 2019. Staples and Office Depot locations in the United States closed 198 stores in 2015, increasing the total number of these brands' closed locations to over 1,100. Gap is another well-known brand that might go out of business in 2022. Their revenue is mostly predicated on consumer spending at retail stores, which has fallen precipitously in recent years as a result of COVID-19 lockdown policies. They will need to innovate and concentrate more on the internet than on retail if they want to be in business for a long time. The casualty is its decision to stop paying rent for its remaining stores. JPenney, another legacy brand, may also be discontinued. The lockdowns and stay-at-home orders had a terrible impact on the retail industry, and some contend that JCPenney was finally doomed by the epidemic. The corporation has just about 600 physical stores left standing and a shrinking customer base, adding that JCPenney has already experienced its share of tumultuousness. Abercrombie & Fitch has also had a continual decline in its profit margin and retail footprints since initially filing for bankruptcy in 2008. The firm closed 137 outlets in 2020 and, in its most recent earnings call, disclosed plans to close up to 60 stores in the U.S. According to Deutsche Bank analysis, Tiffany Kananga, the company's prospects are dim. They are highly doubtful of Abercrombie's ability to sustain its gross profit margin against its competitive online retail environment. The retail industry's decline is indicative of larger socioeconomic shifts, including the loss of well-paying jobs, rising healthcare costs, and mounting levels of consumer debt. Although e-commerce has undoubtedly played a significant role in the transformation of the retail landscape, it is only a part of a more complex problem. Addressing the issues of income inequality and wage stagnation, as well as reducing the burden of healthcare costs and consumer debt, will be essential to reviving the retail industry and supporting the middle class in the long term. According to UBS Research, in the past five years, hundreds of thousands of enterprises have closed, and an additional 80,000 are expected to go out of business by 2026. As a result, dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of jobs will be lost with each shutdown. The downfall of America's mega-corporations has left the economic landscape of the country desolate. 